Truck engines are made to be very strong, with things like heavy-duty crankshafts, stronger pistons, and steel camshafts that can handle the stress of moving large loads. Some truck engines have high-tech features like turbochargers, direct injection, and variable valve timing, making them more powerful and using less gas. The sound of a truck's engine can be one of the most memorable things about it. Some engines make rumbling or roaring sounds that make them easy to spot on the road. Some modern truck engines can make more than 2,000 horsepower and 5,000 pound-foot of torque, which lets them pull huge loads at high speeds over long distances. The standard life of a truck engine is between 500,000 and 1 million miles. But some engines can last even longer with proper care and maintenance. We usually think of solid engines that can pull big loads for long distances when we think of truck engines. But have you ever thought about how the first engine for a truck was built? Why did experts want to make a solid machine to pull huge loads? Have you ever thought about what moves those big trucks on the highways? The engines in the trucks are what keep them going, and the size and power of these engines are genuinely unique. The world of truck engines is full of interesting facts and tales, from the famous V8 engines to the new hybrid engines. Come with us on a trip through the history and growth of truck engines and learn about the unique technology that drives the trucking business today. Get ready to be blown away by the crazy power and abilities of these building wonders. The first truck engine was made at the start of the 20th century when people started to want more powerful engines. At the time, cars were mainly used to move things over short distances. But as the trucking business grew, truck makers understood that they needed engines with more power to move more oversized loads over longer distances. The Hallscott A7 engine was one of the first examples of a strong truck engine. This engine was made in 1918 to be put in cars, buses, and military vehicles. It had six cylinders and could make up to 240 horsepower, making it one of the most powerful engines at the time. Interesting, right? In the early 1900s, the Hallscott A7 engine was made by the Hallscott Motor Car Company in Berkeley, California. This company was started in 1910. The company started making high-quality cars, but later changed its attention to solid and reliable engines for trucks and other heavy-duty vehicles. At the time, the trucking business was starting, and most trucks had gasoline engines that could have been more powerful and stable. Hallscott saw a chance to do something new in this field by making solid high-performance engines that could handle the needs of heavy-duty uses. The A7 engine in particular was first used in 1917 and quickly became known as one of the most potent and efficient engines available at the time. It had seven engines and was cooled by air. It could make up to 240 horsepower, much more than any other engine at the time. The engine was designed for cars, buses, and even military vehicles. The engine of the A7 was also known for being strong and lasting a long time. It has a strong engine and suitable gears, so it can handle the rough conditions of moving long distances. The engine was also easy to clean and fix because it had a simple design that made it easy to get to the parts inside. The Hallscott A7 engine hugely changed the trucking business. It let cars move heavier loads over longer distances, which helped the trucking business grow. The engine was so famous that it was still used until the 1950s when newer, more powerful engines took place. What made the engineers at Hall Scott think of making such a strong engine? The answer lies in what the industry needed at the time. The trucking business was getting going at the beginning of the 20th century. At the time, cars were mainly used to move things over short distances. But as the business grew, trucking companies needed more powerful engines to move more oversized loads over longer distances. This was what the Hall Scott A7 engine was made to do. The A7 was different from other engines at the time because of how well it was made. It had an inline-six design, with six cylinders in a single row, and a unique overhead aircraft that opened and closed the engine's valves. Because of this, the A7 was one of the most potent truck engines of the time. It burned the fuel more effectively, used less fuel, and made more power. The Hall Scott A7 engine was made to last a long time and work well. The block and cylinder heads were made of cast iron. It had seven spheres that were set up in a circle. The rotating shaft in the engine was made of chrome nickel steel, which made it harder and lasted longer. The A7 engine was 1,134 cubic inches, meaning 18.6 liters, and could make up to 240 horsepower, which was a lot for its time. Amazing, right? The A7 engine was made to be strong and last long. It was also made to be easy to clean and fix. The engine's cylinder heads could be removed, making cleaning and fixing the valves and pistons easy. 
The engine also had an easy-to-tune and keep carburetor system. The Hall Scott A7 engine was used in heavy-duty vehicles and even race cars. It was also used on fire cars and military equipment. The engine was popular with shipping companies because it worked well and was strong. The important thing that the Hall Scott A7 engine was used for was to make the yellow coach Model Z bus, which was made in the 1930s and 1940s. The Model Z was made for long-distance travel. It had a Hall Scott A7 engine, which was solid and efficient enough for the demanding bus service needs. In the early 1900s, the Hall Scott A7 engine was also found in several race cars and boats. It was a choice among racers who wanted to push the limits of speed and tolerance because of how well it ran. The engine's high horsepower and efficient design made it a strong competitor in races and helped push the limits of car technology. The A7 engine was a big step forwards for its time, and it set the standard for truck engines to come. Its circle shape made the engine smaller and had fewer parts, making it easier to keep up and fix. The creation of the A7 engine changed the trucking business as a whole. Its high horsepower and durable design set a new standard for truck engines, and other companies started making their strong engines to compete. The military used the A7 engine in tanks and planes, which helped to fasten its reputation as a strong and stable engine. The A7's engine was also different because it was made of copper metal. This made the engine lighter and helped it release heat better, which was necessary for high-performance uses. The A7 engine quickly got a good reputation for being solid and reliable, and many of the biggest truck companies at the time, like Mack, White and Autocar, started using it. The engine was used for many things, such as moving goods across the country, powering fire trucks, and running military vehicles. Today, the A7 engine is praised as a real feat of engineering and a sign of how creative and innovative the United States is. Modern truck engines continue to push the limits of power, fuel economy, and reliability because of this. It was robust, reliable, and efficient, so trucking companies that needed to move goods over long distances picked it. The engine also made Hall Scott famous in the trucking business and made it possible for even more powerful engines to be made in the future. Over time, truck engines have changed and gotten better. Truck engines are now more significant, more efficient, and more lasting than ever before. They have high-tech features like turbocharging, direct injection, and variable valve timing, which make them run better and use less gas. Even though truck engine technology has come a long way, the Hall Scott A7 engine is still essential to trucking history. It was a big deal that helped the trucking business grow into what it is now. Ultimately, Hall Scott's six-cylinder engine from 1918 was the first craziest truck engine ever made. The engine was made to meet the needs of a growing trucking business, and it changed the way long-distance items were moved. Even though the Hall Scott A7 engine might seem old-fashioned by today's standards, it is still an essential part of the history of the trucking business and a great example of how transformation and technology can change things for the better. The A7 engine will always be remembered as the first of its kind in the trucking industry and a great example of how important it is to keep coming up with new ideas.